Luxus Dragnet. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we're going to speak about some additional off brand anime. If you enjoy vanilla related videos, try this new one. Also, guys, this video was connected to a prior one that I just recently released. With that information in mind, let's get started. The school president, Mena, happened to cross paths with a boy named Suda as he was making his way to class. Whenever they do, Mena always jumps to some irrational conclusion, claiming that Suda was planning to rape her first thing in the morning. Suda denied this, but Mena was pushy, insisting that he was lying because she knew what he was thinking, so she told him that if he didn't want everyone to know he had to apologize immediately. What did he say? <laughs> Suda was only just able to follow the flow in order to get away from Mena, so he immediately apologized to her for being perverted in front of him and for always getting excited when she was close. Mena called Suda a strange person but accepted his apology because he was honest with her. She then told Suda that he could leave now, but it seemed that Mena had other plans for Suda. Later. After that, Shino told Mena about Soda, saying that she was worrying too much about that ignorant man, but Mena responded, Suda is rare people to see. He even informs of everyone. He doesn't try to conceal her lust to everyone. Mena then had another wild idea, saying that he wanted her to kneel and prostrate herself before him. What? What the f but Mena told him before he could do that she would break his pride and make sure he would beg on his hands and knees after she said that she got aroused when she imagined that situation. At first, Mena thought the school in Japan was boring, but after she met Suda, she thought it was perfect. But, Shino was still concerned about that when Mena abruptly approached her, telling her that she was equally cute and that she needed to understand why they had to treat Suda that way. A few moments later. Then Mena called Suda, and Suda prostrated herself before Mena because he couldn't refuse her. Suda apologized to Mena, telling him that he looked at her in an unclean manner, and Mena told him that she was always gentle with him, so she slapped her as punishment. Shino also did this, calling Suda filthy. Mena then warned Suda that if she continued to do this, the punishment would become more severe, but Suda was really frustrated when Mena always did that. After Suda was let go, he went to the bathroom to vent his anger toward Mena. As he was doing so, a voice told him that Mena would love to hear more about what he had to say. When Suda looked up, she noticed that Mena was staring at her. Mena then got down and told her that trying to educate him was futile because she also knew that Suda was staring at her in that way. In order for Mena to decide to punish Suda harsher, Suda instantly explained everything, claiming that he was simply daydreaming. But Mena ordered him to stop talking and didn't want him to offer any justifications, and told him to get out and she also warned him not to even pull up his pants. Oh, hell no. However, Mena reminded Suda that this was his punishment and urged him to hurry up, but Suda refused to go, so she began to count down. As the timer ran out and Suda still remained in the stall, Mena had no alternative but to kick to be able to break down the door. Damn! So when she opened the door, Suda became frightened of Mena. Mena then promised to teach him some manners and described males as inferior beings who only exist to serve women. She also promised to make sure that anything she said would be ground into her thing. I don't like where this is going. Once that episode between Suda and Mena was resolved, Suda was fatigued and on his way to his free house. He said he couldn't believe Mena would do that, but as he was walking, it appeared like Shino was following her. End of flashback. As he arrived at her home, someone knocked on the door to get Suda to answer it. He was surprised to see Shino there, and Shino informed him that she wanted to say something. And that's all for today's video, and guys, this off-brand anime was produced by the same company as my previous review of the off-brand anime I just uploaded. Well, based on the story, characters, and graphics, it's very similar to the video I uploaded, and guys, I always said if you guys want to, suggest some off-brand anime to me or try to say something about this video, try to comment me in the comment section, and with that, I say thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.